bidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Trustee Devlin. Space, or were you here for yeah, else? I told you the other night that I didn't think I have the flyers for the information printed, but I do. So, oh, you do? Yes. Or, or do you want to wait till the next meeting? You come for that reason? That one I may not be able to make. Okay, so, so then come but, on up and just. But uh, if I can't, I'll have somebody attend that one also. Okay, because I know the mayor wanted to, you know, wanted to be here, but you can come up now and since okay. you're here, um, you know, just briefly, you know. Yeah, I just have to. Go ahead. You guys would probably recall that the mayor asked me to contact Steve about making arrangements for the historical photos that have been shown up in uh, Fort Jeff to be displayed in patch -off. So I put Steve in touch with Dave Rogers from ArtSpace, and uh, I'll, let, I'll let Steve take it from here, but it's like we're going to have it in July. Uh, yes, as most of you know, we did have a, uh, a wonderful exhibit up in Fort Jefferson Village Center showing uh, approximately 120 historic photographs of uh, ancient patchwork, shall we say. Um, some of them were blown up to four feet by three feet, and uh, it was quite a show, a wonderful attendance. And several people at the time asked me, uh, well, yeah, that's nice, it's up in Fort Chapman, it's a nice venue and whatnot, but why are you bringing it down to Patchwork? I said, well, yeah, that, that's a good idea, it really should be done down to Patchwork. So I said, so, and that's the place to have it in art space. So I started working on that, and thank you very much, Laurie, that you put me in charge with the, put me in touch with the person in charge, Dave Rogers, over the art space. And I'm happy to report that it's going to be uh, an exhibit there showing most, if not all, of the same pictures, uh, all 120 pictures, which I still have to see that to believe it, but to, to realize that these guaranteeing me that he has enough wall space there to put up all of those pictures that were on the Fort Jeff. But anyway, it's going to be on from July 2nd through the 17th. And I have flyers here. I'd like to drop off a few with you. And we do Did he set a date for the reception? Will it be the yes, the reception is going to be on July 12th from 4 to 7. The wine and cheese and uh, the smoothing and so on and so forth. Also, um, Dave had gotten some imagery from Steve and some of the artists in the building over the next month are going to work on their own artistic interpretations of some of the old photos. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be on the display. So give it a little different spin because it's an art space. Okay. Actually, Linda has this already. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I have also a couple of other ones that I had blown up, so I don't know if we have space to uh, put them around the village at different locations and whatnot, but we even managed to have uh, sponsored by the Great Patrick Historic Society, Art Space, and the Village Patrick. So, and I'd also like to. Uh, that's all I have on that, but I'd also like to uh, offer my congratulations to Jack from uh, the performance the other night. And I'd just like to mention that the program that you signed for me, I immediately went home, put it on eBay, and the last time I looked, it was up to $350. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, There's only one of them, that's, that's why. There's only one. 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 Did I win the bid? No, I'm only one. We have a lot of uh, space at 380 Bay, which is the Parks and Recreation Office, mm -hmm. a very historical building. And uh, we'd love to have some donations of any kind to uh, a lot of wall space. Um, yeah, I was, already, I was talking to them down there a couple of weeks ago uh, about doing something also down there. So we'll see. Um, after this is over, uh, Mayor said that uh, he'd like to have these pictures rotating around town here and there. So I'm sure down there is, is one of the here and there's. So uh, we mentioned uh, in the lobby, in the basement of the uh, Patrick Mental Library, there's been in the uh, various locations in the theater, uh, a few other places. So I'm sure, I mean, you don't have room over there for all 120 of these, I don't think. But once we get the framing system, and we plan to get, we have a grant coming in for that. So we'll be able to hang them up temporarily on a rotating basis.
cases just about wherever. So uh, um, certainly don't want to have them any longer where they <coughs> which is in my living room. <laughs> so <laughs> we're looking for places to be. Well, I hope you consider it to be a Yep, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Again, uh, acknowledge Steve for the work he does for the Texas Public Science Society. Uh, he keeps, keeps everything alive. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Appreciate it. Try our best. Uh, Great job. Keep history out there. Anything we can do, just let us know.